Hi, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're talking about the Takari TLX enclosure for the Prusa Mini. Uh, I've recently built this, as you may have seen from my previous videos, and if you haven't, please watch. Uh, I mentioned that I would be doing a few modifications, and I've done one today relating to the extractor fan. Now, Takari provide extra long bolts, so you can fit a 120mm fan to the case. Uh, which I have done. Uh, I've also added a little modification to the fan just so that it stays away from the wall and allows air to percolate away from the fan without uh, being butted right up against the wall and stopping the airflow. Uh, so we'll have a look, look at that at, in a moment. Uh, you can also see I've popped a granite paver, a 300 by 300 granite paver uh, with some pads underneath it, absorption pads. Uh, to help any vibration noise from the Mini. So it's really super quiet now. And with the enclosure as well, it's uh, really nice to get on with uh, hardly any noise at all. So I'm re really pleased the way that's come out. So the next step, let's uh, have a look and see what I've made. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the case around. And you can see I've added an additional piece on the back of where the fan sits. So I'm just going to pop this off so you can see. The idea is that, let's turn it a little bit there, the fan stops here and it does mean that I can press the entire case up against the wall. This plastic is going to be against the wall but the fan's not going to be directing warm air against the wall. One thing it stops the wall being damaged should you have any paint that might be affected by the constant warm air going on it. Secondly, it ensures there is a gap for the air to come out from the fan and it's not as if, it, if you'd have a problem if the fan was directly against the wall by accident. So that this means you can actually put the, the enclosure right against the wall and you're also going to have like a 20-25mm gap for the air to come out all the way around. So I'm just going to unscrew this so you can see what the item is. Okay, so I've taken it apart. We have three components. The first is the plate from the Takari case, which goes there. Second is the fan. You do need a high pressure fan, not just a normal PC case fan, the 120 mil. A normal case fan will not suck the air through the HEPA filter. So it needs to be a high pressure one. This particular model, I'll, I'll leave a link below, or at least uh, the model information, should you wish to go for that. This is a relatively cheap fan. Uh, the other fan I would recommend is the Noctua IPPC 3000, which is an extremely high pressure fan. It can be quite noisy, so I'd recommend also getting the speed controller for it, uh, so you can adjust the speed and that also means you can adjust the temperature in the enclosure. So just reduce the speed will increase the temperature. Finally, this is the item that I've, I've made. As you can see, hopefully, it's basically a, a cone shape, flat in the middle, which goes with the flat in the center of the fan. And using the existing bolts that are supplied with the Tukari case. So you don't have to buy any new bolts. We're using the existing ones that they supply extra uh, to use with a fan. So simply a plate. The mounts go against the holes in the fan. The base sits about two or three millimeters away from the center of the fan, just to help avoid any vibrations. It's as simple as that. I've popped the Tukari logo, not quite their font, but uh, an extra item on there. And yeah, I, I think this is uh, quite a handy thing just to stop the fan getting choked. You really don't want the fan butted up right against the wall and find out you're not actually extracting uh, any, any heat. Um, also, you don't want warm air, especially if you're like 40 degrees in the case 
going against your wall necessarily if it affects your paintwork or whatever you've got on your wall. So fan that there is just pushing the air in all four directions uh, just away from it and uh, there you go it's as simple as that. Uh, I will leave a link to this if you're interested it'll be on Thingiverse and Prusa models so feel free to print that should you wish to. Um, as far as the material goes I've done this in the Prusa Orange PETG but I would have probably used uh, PLA uh, I just didn't have uh, any PLA that I like the colour of to hand uh, so I've just used the hot orange PETG. Um, now before I finish the video uh, some of the eagle-eyed of you may have noticed this isn't connected the fan is not connected yet so we've still got the positive and negative wires. Uh, I will do a future video on that but it's really a case of, well, this was attached at one time. Just get your positive and negative. You can either use uh, screw connections or solder. I've previously used solder. And I connected it to a 12 volt power supply. You can get these from Amazon. Uh, just plug into the mains. It's for, for a fan, you only need something like a, a one amp power supply. Uh, depending on the, the, the end that it's got, it's probably have, have an end like this. Uh, you can work a, a plug and socket, but I, I will go through an, another video on how to wire it up. Uh, as long as you're confident with a, a soldering iron, but I say we, you, we can just use screw connections as well. I'll do both and you, you can see how you get on. It's really easy though. So some people think, oh, it's 12 volts, that's difficult. But it's not when you can get a power adapter for probably seven or eight pounds from Amazon, so ten dollars. I wouldn't recommend really using a USB fan because they're just not going to be powerful enough. A five volt uh, fan is not going to uh, be a high pressure fan that will extract enough air. So it really does need to be 12 volts. So we'll go through that in a future video. So please ensure you do indeed uh, like and subscribe uh, so you get notified when I do that video which will be fairly shortly.